Hey everyone, this is Gilberto with Maverick Media Lab, and I'm here with our client uh, Tracy Flesh, and he's going to be covering how he's been able to generate more referrals um, from the realtor appointments that our appointment setters have been able to book for him. So Tracy, I appreciate you sharing your time and hopping on and, and sharing the feedback. Yeah, and I appreciate your business and what it's done to help me in this. You know, we all, it's a difficult time in the mortgage business, as you know, but the, the big thing is I've wasted so much money and thousands and thousands of dollars on people who say they can generate leads. They're garbage. And I've told myself time and time again, I'm never going to do it again. And then somebody comes in with some slick sales pre presentation and I fall for it again and I spend more money and it's a complete waste of time. But I am done with, with these lead generations. The lead generations that I want are from people who actually generate the business I want to go directly to the source. And when I when I saw your your ad and talked to one of your sales representatives, I mean, it, it's really what I want. I want a connection with a realtor who's not one deal, but that realtor could be ten deals, twelve deals, twenty deals a year. I don't need a hundred new realtors. I mean, if I get five new realtors or if I get three new realtors on top of the business that I'm already doing, that's a very successful investment, and it's very very affordable. Uh, and that's what I've seen, uh, you, know, I've, you know, in a relatively short period of time, I've got close to 40 appointments that were set with, uh, with local real estate agents. And I'll say the vast majority of them were very, very receptive to my phone calls, where if I were doing these phone calls and trying to set 40 appointments with realtors, I know what the results would be. It would be constant frustration. I'd be calling and calling and calling and get hung up on or get excuses and reasons why they don't want to talk to me. And that's no fun for your ego, let alone just your, your daily sales approach. But with this, you know, I've got your people that are setting these appointments and doing the things that I hate. And that's that quick uh, cold calling from the beginning. So by the time that I make the phone call and pick up with them, uh, you guys have communicated and, and confirmed the appointment. They're expecting my phone call and they know that I'm a lender. And obviously they know that what I want to talk about is my services and, you know, they're, they're receptive to it. And, you know, I go with the approach of, you know, how I'm, I'm different. I find the unique sales proposition and I tell them, you know, how I'm different from everybody else. And I tell them, look, I'm like everybody else. I'll tell you, I've got great service and, and great rates and all those things. But the reality is I've got some programs that are a little bit different and here's what makes me a little bit different. And, and they're receptive to that. Uh, and it's been a, a great, um, it's been uh, several months and it's resulted in, in some great, um, some, some great referrals, um, you know, again, I don't have to move the needle a whole bunch. If I get two extra deals a month, that's very, very successful for me. Uh, and the reality is if I get one new realtor and that's two deals a month from him and I get uh, two more realtors who are a little bit warm, you know, that could easily result. It doesn't take much. All it takes is one deal. And if you deal with, if you deal with me on one deal, I feel that they're going to be impressed enough that they're going to come back and continue to send me business. And if they don't, it's my own fault. Well, I'm curious, well, before you started working with us, like what were the like what were some of the ways that you were like cultivating those re realtor partnerships? Were you doing the cold calls yourself or like what were some of the things that you were struggling well, with? Before? Well, let's be real for the uh, yeah, I've been in the business for about 11 years in the last, you know, three or four years. I haven't had to do anything. We all as lenders sat back, kicked our feet up. We knew the business was coming in. We didn't have to do anything to get the business. 2000. Uh, 22 came along and the last half of it kind of kicked us in the teeth. And that's really what was the wake up call. It's like, you know, the days of sitting back and letting the business rain in on you, you know, it's gone. And if you want to be out of business, then then that's what you're going to do. But for me, you know, that's not an option. I wasn't going to do that. I want to be proactive. So, uh, but I didn't want to be so proactive that I'm the guy making all the, the phone calls. So, yeah. you know, that, that's, that's the thing is uh, I hired your crew that, that uh, make the calls and do the pain point for me that I just hate doing. Uh, I enjoy picking up the phone at, if I know at 10 o'clock that, that this realtor is waiting on my phone call and call them and I can talk about my business and their business as well. That's easy. And I can, I can do really well in that situation. But if I'm begging for an appointment, you know, that that's no fun. How did the calls go? Like once you had, like how warm were they when, when you had that appointment, um, what did you find when you called them up? Like how how open was this realtor? And like, were they actually like, you know, were they actually open to like the conversation about a referral partnership? They were. And, and a lot of that has to do with the way that you set up the calls, the text messages, reminding them that, hey, we've got this call coming up at 10 o'clock with Tracy. Are you still on? And then they message back and say, yes. Yeah. So when I call up and I'll say, hey, this is Tracy Flesh from First Community Mortgage. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Let me give me give me just a second. I know I was on a roll, but what are we talking about? Okay. Okay. So, I mean, I, I love the fact that, that every time I called these realtors, they were prepared because you guys have the system where you send, send a text message to confirm the appointment. So when I call, they're, they know I'm calling. And, I, you know, I, I start every call with, like, hey, still a good time. And every I've never had anybody say, you know what? No, it's not a good time. They all say, yeah, sure, this is great. And that just, you know, we it, from there on, I mean, they know the purpose of the call. I just get right into it. And, you know. I expect maybe five minutes and most of them usually go 15, 20 minutes long. And a lot of them, you know, anytime they're asking questions, you know, you're engaged And all of them ask questions. And, you know, the key is to find the unique selling proposition, find that unique product that you can pitch to them. And that leads to the questions. And, and I, I'm very designed with how I go about my phone call. And I know exactly what I'm going to say. I know the programs that I'm going to push. And I look up the realtor and I'm, I've, you know, I find out, you know, have they been in the business for 25 years? And I, I start out every one of them by telling them, I don't have huge expectations that, you know, I know you probably already have that established relationship with the lender. All I'm trying to do is see if maybe I can fill a void. You know, maybe there's a loophole there that, that you're having deals that are slipped through, you know, and, and I, you know, I find that program that can, you know, that, that can help them get more deals. And, you know, that's all what they, that's what they really want to focus on is how I can help them close more loans and, and, and get more sales. Nice. What, how many uh, appointments are you averaging per week? What are you finding is like the frequency and volume of the appointments? Uh, it, it's certainly at least two a day. It, you know, it, it's really great because I'll look at my calendar on a Monday and I'll see, I've got a couple appointments on Tuesday and Wednesday. And I say, I, I got a lot of white space there. Uh, but as we go into the week and, and they start making the phone, your sales people start making their phone calls, my calendar fills up. And, you know, it's, it's fantastic. It's nice to look at your calendar and see you've got yeah. three or four appointments scheduled. And, you know, there's nothing longer than a day that has no activity and no phone calls. Um, but the great thing is the days really fly by and your activity level is really stepped up when you know you've got these appointments and they're scheduled every couple hours. And, and you know, you break them out for an hour and it only takes 15 or 20 minutes for the phone call, but it leaves you with time, you know, to, to, take care of the details that you need to. I, I follow up every phone call with an email with my contact information and recapping the things that we discussed. Um, so that makes it really easy. And, and it's been amazing. You know, they call back. I had a phone call just yesterday with a realtor and he called me back today and he said, Hey, I know we just talked yesterday, but I've got an open house and I've got a big thing that we're doing. Can you come help me with this? Yeah, of course I can. I, I hate doing open houses, but I hate also not having business. So uh, I'll, I'll take it every time. And, and it was one day after we had the phone call and he's like, you know, my, my normal lender couldn't do it. My go-to lender couldn't do it. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. You know, it's, it's a gap that I can fill, you know, his, his normal, his normal uh, lender made a mistake by opening the door to let me get in there because I'm going to get in there. And I know that with what, the way I handle my business that I'm going to get his business eventually. Very cool. And one thing I was curious about, like you've tried lead generation companies, like other marketing companies, and obviously this is different. This is like getting more referral partnerships. Um, but what was it that made you like take that leap of faith and like, you know, and, and give this a shot um, when you've kind of been burned with marketing companies in the past? Yeah. Like what was that thing for you that made you move forward? Well, it, it, it's the fact that I'm not fishing for one deal out of the deal it, when you know what I got hooked with with you is that you're setting appointments with realtors realtors can be the source of multiple deals so uh, look I've wasted so much money with lead generation companies I mean embarrassing amounts of money with lead generations all the promises in the world the better mouse traps we're going to get you all these qualified leads money back guaranteed well no it doesn't work you know what what works is the old-fashioned way of Connecting with people who actually send you the business. Connect with a realtor. You don't need just one deal. That that realtor, the one realtor, might be 12 deals uh, or more uh, a year. If you get four new realtors and it's if they're averaging 12, they send you 12 a year. That's 48 deals. My guess is that there's lots of lots of lenders who don't do 48 deals in a year. Um, so, you know, we don't have to move the needle a whole lot to be successful in this model. You know, if I've already had one lender or one real, sorry, I've already had one realtor who I know is going to send me all of his business and I've got to deal with him right now. And it's literally been a relationship that I had for two weeks. 
Um, wow. But you know, it, it's he works for a, he works for a great company. He's young and has a great sphere of influence, and he's in a very very he's a, a young engineer who deals with with engineers. So it, you know, these young realtors. While some people may you know poo poo him and say, "Oh, so this guy hasn't closed any deals," you know what? That this guy, I know. When you come back in five years, he's going to be one of these guys who's very very successful. And that's all I'm trying to do. So you know, some of these young realtors are worth the time to spend. And, and it's just a 15 minute phone call, and then maybe lunch, and then you know one deal, and that's all. Then we're off to the races. That relationship is established, and now I'm the go to I'm the go to lender for that guy. Kind of like buying like an under undervalued stock, right? You're just like, right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All up. those people that, that bought AMC uh, at that one point, And, you know, it, by, by the time people got in, it was too late. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah that's what I'm. Well, it's, uh, well, it's early. Nice. Very yep, cool. Yep. And um, one thing I always like to ask for the person who might be watching this testimonial video here, and they might be considering working with us, or maybe they're already have talked to us and they're maybe thinking about it and moving forward with this, like, what would you say to that individual who's like on the fence uh, or possibly thinking about, you know, having an appointment center uh, to call realtors for them? Yeah. So I'm very, very conservative, which means I'm very, very cheap. Uh, you know, I, I don't like to, to feel like I'm buying my business. I like to have the pride to say that I've established my business. And, and I don't look at this as being buying my way into the business. I, I really know that all this is uh, using your service as a way to open the door to some people who I probably never would have talked to had I not had this, this opportunity to work with your company. And it has opened the door a lot. And it is doing the things that are uncomfortable for me. I'm uncomfortable just picking up the phone and making those, those phone calls. I would so much rather have a warm appointment set. And that's what this is. And that puts all the burden back onto me. Once, you know, I'm not, I'm not the biggest salesperson in the world. And I've been in this business for, for 12 years. And embarrassingly enough, uh, you know, I, I haven't, I haven't nurtured the relationships like I should have, but you know we had we were all doing so much business for so long there that all we were you know, we didn't have time and you know what the the realtors knew that you know the realtors were like you know they're so busy they don't even worry about us. So well, now now that it slowed down, every lender in town is trying to find their way back into their business, and you know this is and I admit to them from the beginning you know that's part of the process is that look. You know, you know, we got to work our way back into your good graces. And the only way we can do it is to get out there and make the phone calls and have the connections and, and introduce ourselves back to them and and try to get the door open again. I don't know if that answered the question or if I just rambled on or not, but oh, that definitely did. Yeah. And that yeah, I think you're in a position where a lot of loan officers watching this now are are in currently where like refis were, you know, doing really well and like they're past clients just doing the refis for them and then they might have just like forgotten about the realtors and now it's like a different it's like a different you know situation right now and so now they've, they've got to find a way to start you know cultivating those old partnerships back or like establishing new ones um with with realtors in their area right and let me put this in perspective a little bit too uh, you know in the 10 years that i've been in the business I, i've been successful i'm not a struggling loan officer and i'm not not someone who who uh who's new to this. I mean, I've closed 2000 loans in the last 10 years. In the last you know, two years ago, I did 60 million. The year before that, data, I did 55 million. So I've closed a lot of business. And if you're not out there constantly cultivating new business, you can find yourself in a tough spot. And, and honestly, at the end of 2022, I found myself in a tough spot. You get used to closing a lot of loans and making a lot of money. And if you aren't constantly trying to establish these relationships and nurture these relationships, you're going to find yourself in a bad spot. Words of the wise. Yeah, I think it definitely helps that you've, uh, you've been there, done that. And, you know, you have a lot of experience. You speak from experience that, you know, that's kind of what you've seen. So, yeah, now you're in a different spot. You have all these realtor uh, that you're talking to and already some some deals in the pipeline and some that yeah. are closing. Well. So I'm really happy yeah. that you decided to, to move forward with us, took that leap of faith, regardless of, you know, in spite of your uh, experience right. in the with other marketing companies. And let me say this too. Uh, I'm not spending near as much as I spent with the lead generation folks. I mean, you, you guys are far more affordable and it's literally like having your own assistant who's working a full time, making out, outgoing phone calls. And it's just a, frat, uh, just a fraction of the cost. And, you know, 
the, the money that I spent spend monthly with you is far less than these jokers that, that do these promises of lead generation. And it's so much better. Glad to hear that. Yeah, it's always, uh, <laughs> I've heard that from several of our clients, especially on these interviews. So always warms yeah. my heart. And I know the team also will, will appreciate that too, to know that, yeah. you know, their, their appointments are going somewhere and they're actually turning to close deals. So yeah, Tracy, I, I really appreciate your time and uh, yeah. also just getting your honest feedback on how the appointments have been going so far. Yeah. Anytime you want to do this again, I'm happy to without, without all the distractions. I, I mean, I apologize for the distractions and uh, no worries. I, I'm I'm very happy with with where we are. And really, you know, whether whether I'm any more successful or less successful is going to be dependent upon how well I follow up and 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 continue to to, to work with these guys. Now, you know, I've got to get all these these realtors back to to I don't even know the person who does my phone calls to be honest, but um, but I need to get them back because I need. I need to schedule to yeah. get them to schedule one-on-one -on -one meetings because uh, the phone call, if it was done four weeks ago, if I'm not back in front of them now, I'll be forgotten. And I'll be like every other lender who's called them and, and promised the world and left and never called them back. Yeah. That's the key part of this. Once the meeting is done, it's all about the follow-up and staying top of mind. So that's, that's really important yep. as well. Yep. Yep. For sure. Awesome. Once again, Tracy, I really appreciate you. Thanks for yep your time and for hopping on. Well, I hope it worked out with what you needed.